Hey everyone, welcome back to my abridged playthrough of Mass Effect Andromeda. I spy with my little eye something that begins with M. Mountain. Damn, you're good. Eyes peeled, everyone. Don't worry, I'm not blinking. If there's something to see, I'm gonna see it. You'll see. Maybe cave over there. Maybe something's inside. This place is massive. Detecting high levels of toxic gas. Proceed with caution, Pathfinder. Hey, I'm always cautious. This would be the perfect place to lie low. Yeah. Except for those scorpion things. Is that... A generator? What's it doing all the way out here? It appears to be powering the floodlights. Well, yeah, but who put it here? The surveyor? That would be a lot of equipment for one man to carry. Whoever turned off the lights is an asshole. Nearly broke my toe searching for the generator. Octans. Time to fight! Dead end. Huh. Try the other path? All right, now I'm pissed. Another generator. And more lights. They lead to something? Okay, this was the Surveyor's last known location. That him? The Surveyor. Who did it? Outcasts? Collective? Random exiles? Gravity. What? He broke his neck. Probably from trying to obtain barite samples. Better than being murdered. Sam, download his data. We can at least deliver that. Personal log. Nebar. New entry. Found the perfect site to take a barite sample for Dirk. A little high up, but I've got steady feet. End log. You hear that? Intruders! Stand down. The charlatan wants this one alive. Out for a walk, Pathfinder? No one else in the Collective hesitated to shoot me. We're a big organization. Low-level operatives might not have gotten the word, but my orders are clear. You're not to be harmed. Crux is in charge here. If you've got questions, talk to her. Okay, that's pretty cool. Personal log, Akila. New entry. Took a while, but this place is really coming together. We've got ourselves a proper hideout down here, and the shuttles keep coming. No idea how the charlatan finds all this salvage. Elodin, maybe? I hear they've got tons of scrap. Still, that's a long ways to bring sheets and metal and supplies. But hey, not my credits. End log. Pathfinder, you caught me off guard. We don't receive many visitors. The cesspools put them off? They are natural deterrents, yes. The Angara call this place Drolir. Translates to death caves. A bit melodramatic. If you've a head for navigation, it's perfectly safe. Like most of Kadara, it's the people you should worry about. What do you mean? Someone's been faking the charlatan's orders, giving bad intel. It got two of our recruits killed. This is what happens when you rule from the shadows. 
Organizations with a face aren't immune to greedy bastards. Trust me. The boss knows it's someone operating out of this base. It's my job to find the culprit. So what's the holdup? The imposter could bolt at the first sign of suspicion. I need a subtle way to smoke them out. Why would someone risk impersonating a charlatan? Greed is a powerful motivator, Pathfinder. The Collective has access to supplies, credits, you name it. And we only answer to one person. Maybe I could help? I'm not connected to the Collective. A curious outsider would raise less suspicion than an official representative. That's true. All right, Pathfinder. Here's what we know. The drop point was in the Sulphur Springs, so the imposter should have high levels of sulphur in their clothes. Sam's sensors should be able to detect that. Anything else? We found footprints that could be human or Asari, but too smudged to get an exact size. That's all my intel. Pathfinder, still here? What is a charlatan representative, exactly? Most members of the Collective have no direct contact with the charlatan. The boss delivers their orders through us. Even as a representative, I only get messages. I've never met the charlatan in person. You're okay with that? I don't like being micromanaged. As long as I carry out the charlatan's orders, I have the freedom to do as I want. What's it like working for the Collective? Enjoyable for the most part. Pays good, and being a representative gets me respect. Sure, I live in a cave, but every job has its downside, right? You've no regrets about leaving the Nexus, then? No way. Those idiots have no idea what they're doing. At least the charlatan has their shit figured out. Why work for the charlatan instead of Sloan? Because moving up in the Outcasts is a popularity contest. Sloan promotes her friends over the qualified. The charlatan doesn't care who you are, just how you perform. Thanks for the chat. High sulfur levels, but the footprints at the drop site contradict a Solarian's webbed feet. Just being thorough, Sam. Sulfur levels are normal. Not our culprit, then. Sulfur levels are on the high side, but not by a large percentage. And she's a sorry, which fits our footprint bill. Can't rule her out yet. She's worth further investigation. Didn't peg the Collective as gardeners. Sulfur readings are low. Additionally, Angaran feet are distinct from humans and Asari. Can't hurt to check. <laughs> Sam, what's inside the cages? Judging from the scratching, Ardy. Sulfur levels are high. Her footprints are of a similar shape to those left at the drop site. Could be our rat. Before accusing Dorado, perhaps you'd like to talk to her. She could have an alibi. Need something? Go bother Crux. You're a testy one. Sorry. Haven't slept in 36 hours, thanks to another shit job. 36 hours? That can't be healthy. Defying the charlatan's orders isn't healthy. I go where I'm told. You've never been tempted to manipulate your boss's orders? What? What do you mean? You know, fudge the intel, use the Collective's resources to make a profit on the side? I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm done talking to you. Dorado's heart rate spiked when you questioned her about the charlatan's orders. The lady doth protest too much, methinks. A popular quote from Hamlet, one of William Shakespeare's most Sam, I know where it's from. Yes, Pathfinder. Sam, what are they doing with the Adhi? It appears the Collective are attempting to domesticate the creatures. And how's that going? Aggression levels are lower than what we've seen in the wild. But I wouldn't recommend opening the cage. Sorry about before, not much traffic down here. Recruits are jumpy. You didn't shoot. That's all that matters. You're awfully good-natured about people pointing guns at your face. Some of us have been down here for months. I haven't seen the sun in weeks. Weeks? Seriously? I'm one of the few people who know how to operate the water filters. 
I've been trying to train a backup, but most recruits can't stand the smell. Not many volunteers. I'd better get back to work. Thanks for the chat. What do you think of Lynx, Sam? Her explanation for the level of sulfur in her clothes was plausible, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, any luck finding the imposter? Gerardo's clothes showed high levels of sulfur. When I questioned her loyalty to the charlatan, she became... frantic. You asked her outright. I said to be discreet. Aquila, detain Dorado. Dorado? She's gone. Said it was on the charlatan's orders. Damn it. If the charlatan finds out, I let her get away. I'll take care of it. She can't have gone far. Proxis Rider. Did you find Dorado? She ambushed me. I had no choice but to take her out. Would have liked to question her, but at least it's done. Thanks, Pathfinder. Shit. I am running with the wrong crew. Hey! Joking, but seriously, that's an impressive amount of merch. Found your surveyor. He broke his neck getting barite samples. Good surveyors are hard to find. Hope you retrieve the samples. Here you go. Wonderful. Here are your credits. You earned them. Careful. Whoever rounded up that junk will get territorial if we get close. Nasty crash. Aftermath of an attack. Looks bad. Who? Who's there? Hamash, is that you? Don't talk. We'll get you back to town. No, I can't move. It... it's too late. I just... want to rest. Hey, it's okay. Stay calm. We understand. Can you tell me what happened? It... it was the cat. Took us by surprise. They killed everyone. John lasted the longest. They didn't know I was still alive. I saw them raiding our packs. Then they... They took off into the hills. What's in the hills? Is there a kept base there? There's nothing in the hills. I don't... We've never heard of a base. Sloan says Kadara is free of Ket. <laughs> what did the Ket take from you? I... I don't know. Supplies. Weapons. Scavenged ship parts. I'll leave you to rest. Thank you. I... I wish... Kytus, it's Ryder. Your cat rumors have weight. Just found a caravan they attacked. Damn it. Really thought we got them all. One of the wounded said they headed for the hills. I'm gonna check it out. I'll search too. Grabbing a shuttle now. An Angaran-made spacecraft that has suffered major damage due to a breach in its hull, apparently from multiple shots from Ket weaponry. Maybe the rest of the team and I have agreed not to ride you about Kalinda. Good. Believe me, I'm riding myself enough for all of you. Ket tracks. They're leading up into those hills. Ket tracks. We're going the right way. This isn't how we thought it was gonna go. But one good thing, I get to see a new galaxy. How many people can say that? That's the spirit. If I were Ket, I'd hide out in that cave. Kytus, I think I found something. Sending the nav point. Impatient, are we? Sloan, I wasn't expecting you. She wouldn't take no for an answer. I'm not about to let someone else fight my battles. Especially an initiative lapdog. You were happy enough to have this lapdog track down information for you? That's what dogs do. Fetch. Enough. Let's get this over with. You're such a grunt when you're worried. 
Every second you're gone from the port is an opportunity for the Collective. The Pathfinder and I can have... What was that? They know we're here. Get ready. Device. The Ket were using salvaged parts from whatever they could find in the Badlands to create a communications device. It is incomplete. It looks more like a nuke. I think that's the last of them. Let's get rid of the bodies. Wouldn't want anyone to know you had Ket hiding under your noses. Your discretion is appreciated. I'll have your payment sent to the Tempest. The Angara were all alone here until the Ket showed up. Can you imagine wondering if you're the only sentient species in the galaxy? Phoebe, do you really think this remnant stuff's gonna help us live here? All signs point to yes? You don't sound sure. We'll find a way. Even if it's not remnant, I'm sure we will. Pathfinder, my senses read an Andromeda plant sample nearby. Helios flora. Gathered and properly cooked, these plants would be a tasty source of vitamins and minerals. Plant sample collected. Five of ten. Yep, still hurts. Fresh batch of Kadara's infamous home brewed ale. Pathfinder, Kesha's assistant asked you to secure some of that. What'll it be? Bottle of your hardest stuff. This is for Superintendent Cash. Make it six. Pathfinder, my senses read an Andromeda plant sample nearby. This plant resembles kelp growths and may have kelp ancestors. While not especially nutritious, it is vitamin rich and has a pleasantly cleansing taste. Plant sample collected. Six of ten. Undocumented mineral nearby, Pathfinder. Mineral scan completed. Six of sixteen. Can I help you? We're not taking in anyone new and the doors are all locked. <clears throat> Hi there. We're not looking to cause any trouble. Trouble is all there is on Kadara. We just want to be left alone and... Wait... I don't believe it. You look like a Pathfinder. I take it no other Pathfinders have strayed this far? I wish. Oh, it's good to see you. Just knowing the initiative's still out there making it work. That means a lot. Looks like you've got a good thing going here. We're refugees hiding on a world of exiles. We got kicked out of the Nexus, swept away in the Uprising. We weren't looking to take sides or anything. We just wanted to eat. Then we found this place. Remote. Sheltered from the crazies in the Badlands. And the bedrock here filters the water. If you can spare the time, we could use your help. Speak to the others and they'll fill you in. I'll unlock the doors. So it's true. Pathfinders do exist. I'd offer you something to eat, but I'm afraid our food supply is tight. I'm waiting for these to ripen. It's okay. We're fine. I'm surprised you managed to grow anything here. A unique quirk of the bedrock in this area filters the water. That and a supply of UV lights. When we were exiled from the Nexus, I grabbed a crate. That was some quick thinking. Small details can save the day. I knew if we were going to be stranded in Helios, food would be hard to grow. <laughs> we're the lucky ones. I feel sorry for the poor souls in the Badlands. A pang of guilt whenever I eat. Why don't you take a few of these UV lights with you? Maybe others can grow food too. <laughs> Anything to help this miserable hellhole. Daily log of groundwater tests. Daily test, 98.1% purity. 
Daily test, 97.2% purity. Daily test, 96.7% purity. 95.9% purity. 94.1, 92.2, 91.6, 91.2. Note, if the downward trend continues, our aquifer will eventually turn toxic. Something needs to be done to stabilize Kadera's environmental conditions. Is he okay? No, running a fever. Something weird bit him and he's got an infection. Usually remedies don't work on the venom. Anything we can do for him? Unless you can conjure up some sort of antibiotic out of thin air, I don't know. That Badlands got you down? Feeling sick? Suffering from the Badlands blues? We've got an herb for that. It'll make you feel better, both body and mind, if you know what I mean. If you don't, then this isn't for you and you should go away. But if you do, come looking. To be safe, we can't provide coordinates. Those who seek shall find. Oh, hi there. Something wrong? It's just hard. Exiled from the Nexus. My mother's still back there. I never said goodbye. Have things gotten any better? The Nexus leaders are still arguing with each other. That hasn't changed. It's what got us into this mess. I wish I could talk to my mom, make sure she's okay. I've been trying to reach her, but our equipment's broken. Not sure it would matter, the Nexus is so far away. Never know. I could take a look. Would you? That would mean the world. The communications junction is out of alignment. With an adjustment, a signal could reach the Nexus. There. Let's go see if that did the trick. I appreciate you looking into it. Thank you. That meant everything. This must be the hideout of those hackers who attacked Sam. Everyone remember, these people think their virus worked. Sam's gone, and I'm on their side. This'll be good. Private channel only once we're in, Sam. Welcome to our sanctuary. I'm Catherine Nye. Night to my colleagues. I wrote the virus that freed you from Sam. I don't know how to thank you. I'm sorry your father did this. The initiative's use of AI could doom us all, and you were the first to suffer. Did your virus kill Sam? Sam has been reduced. It's harmless now. I saw the folly of merging humans and AI in the Milky Way, a black ops project called Overlord that created a monster. Many died. My son was hurt, and the young man used as a host was... consumed. Every Pathfinder risks the same fate. That can happen? I've never heard of Overlord. I guess your father hadn't either. Excuse me, I have work to do. Unless you have questions. If you're afraid of AI, why join an organization that uses it? We needed an escape. I thought the initiative was using shackled AI for research. When I understood it, well, a firefighter doesn't run away from a fire. What more can you tell me about Project Overlord? A black ops experiment by mad scientists to merge a human mind with synthetic intelligence. Their creation was a horror. I paid a heavy price to get my son out. You think the Pathfinders could be overcome by their AI? Worse. If the Initiative thinks the human-AI merge works, they might roll it out to everyone. Imagine Sam's power in the hands of people who weren't ready for it. I shouldn't keep you. Thank you. Don't worry about Sam reconnecting. Our AI detector is always watching. That's... good to know. The virus was a beginning. I'm about to make sure the Initiative never repeats its mistake. Pathfinder, it's unlikely an AI detector could discern our private channel. However, this may not be true for your scanner. Whatever Knight's planning can't be good. She's dangerous. Let's find out what's up. Discreetly. Citadel Economics Board, Case Report A5. On the subject of the 2182 flash crash, nicknamed the Ilium Sinkhole, Thousands of stock prices collapsed overnight, destroying the value of approximately 1.2 million personal accounts. Responsibility was later traced to a rogue virtual intelligence developed for the Ilium stock market, whose sentience had been illegally modified. 
Rela Tipagis, a senior white hat hacker at the Bank of Nasastra, gave forceful testimony on the rising use of such VI, which makes decisions in milliseconds that affect financial markets across Citadel space, often based on news stories that a non-synthetic stockbroker would know to ignore. As far as the VI knows, it's just moving numbers around, Tipagis testified. It might even find that personally fulfilling in ways organic life can understand. But for us, a decimal point can be the difference between riches and ruin. Oh, welcome. I'm Laveria. I'm so glad Knight's virus worked. Do you need anything? Why did you join Knight's movement? <laughs> I know. Me, an underground hacker? Back home, I was a concierge on the Citadel. I coded games for my little sisters. They played together, walked to school together. And when those Geth machines attacked the Citadel, the Geth impaled them on spikes. Together. Shit, that's awful. That's why I left for Andromeda. And why I joined Knight. See you later, Laveria. Bye. Come by any time. <sighs> this must be tough to hear, Sam. Those AI are the product of a different civilization. Ours will be founded on organic, synthetic partnership. I bridge the hard-earned lessons of the past and the promise of the future. Looks like Knight's personal console. Sam, can you get into it? Yes, but my access will trigger the AI detector. You'll only have one chance. Okay, let's wait until we know what we're looking for. Regarding AI detector. Knight, thank you for the ELISA data. It's so obvious when you run a comparison. The Geth, the Sams, all our data shows that working AI produce a detectable electromagnetic pattern. It's similar to brain activity in organic life. Different cases, but a distinct signature. I even tested it against a basic VI. They're not even close. So, blathering aside, the answer is yes. All we need is sensors that pick up the EM pattern of an AI operating nearby or interfacing with a Pathfinder implant, and we've got a detector. Child's play. How's your virus coming along? Laveria. Intelligence and Introspection, Dr. K. Nye. At the sensory gallery on Kathoi Ward, I could step into a booth and artificially experience rain as a Turian feels it. Elsewhere, I could smell like an Elcor or hear like a Drell. But there is no booth where I could think like an artificial intelligence. Try it. Imagine being two or three times as intelligent as you are now. You're likely already approaching the level considered genius for your species. Now keep going. Ten times. Twenty times. The mind reels, doesn't it? And you still aren't as intelligent as an AI. Now consider how differently such a mind might perceive and interpret the world compared to how you understand it. Think how different a sonnet might seem, or a sunset. Then ask yourself, what would such a mind make of our morality, the value of organic life, my lab partners evolved a thousand light years away. But make no mistake, it is the life on our servers which is truly alien. You must be Ryder, Alain. My mother's in charge around here. But you're a celebrity. Sorry I can't show you around. I'm stuck sitting here for a few more hours. Is something wrong? I'm fine. Just good old Project Overlord, still kicking me when I'm down. When Mom has... Nope, can't talk about that. Do you need anything? If it's all right, can I ask you why you need all these machines? I had a serious infection in my nervous system. I use spinal implants to walk and, you know, bathroom stuff. But while my mother was working on Project Overlord, my implants got hacked. They still work. I just have to sync them a few hours a day. Anything you can tell me about Project Overlord? Black Ops guys trying to make a VI human hybrid. They hired my mother as a programmer. They told me I was a candidate for the human part, and hey, not like my body was doing me any favors. But my implants got hacked, and Mum said we're leaving. Lucky me. Overlord went downhill fast. I've got to go. You know where I'll be. Pathfinder, I believe we can fix Alain's implants. I have schematics for an appropriate device. It will require time and resources. Or I could start scanning. 
But that's risky. Triangulation achieved. Major population centers, Kadera Port, known contingents, outcasts, and collective. Establishments within range. Chardibus Point Tartarus Der Logair. Notes from Vetra's contract. Displaying. Quote, Biggest danger on Kadara isn't Mother Nature, it's the people. After the uprising, a lot of folks went psycho. Sloan keeps the cream of the crop, using the term lightly, up at port, but banishes the rest. The Badlands are basically a prison with mountains for walls and no cells. Pathfinder. You've got missed calls on the Tempest. Check back when you've got a minute. Pathfinder, you have new email. To Ryder, from Ray's Vidal. Call me. Ryder, something interesting just fell into my lap. Call me when you have a minute. Ray's. To Customer 427, from Bootleggers Association of Kadara. Dear Customer, we appreciate your previous business and hope you enjoyed our unique power-packed home-brewed spirits. We are constantly improving and experimenting on new blends, so be sure to check back with us. Sincerely, Zed, founder of the Bootleggers Association of Kadara. Prepping VidCon Communications. Ryder, how's my favorite Pathfinder? Suvi said you called about something important. Thought you could use a night off. Sloan's holding a get-together for the locals. I managed to snag an invite. Care to be my plus one? Sloan doesn't seem like the party type. She sees these events as a necessary evil to keep the people happy. I'd never say no to free drinks. Especially from Sloan's reserve. I'll meet you outside Outcast HQ. All right, Suvi, quit bugging me. Hold all my calls. Ella, I put a little something together. This should help fix your implants. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, I can feel my nerves waking up. When Mercury goes down, Mum will lose her mind over this. Thank you. No problem, Ella. I've got to go. Thank you again. Mercury. Sounds like a code name for whatever Knight's doing. This will enable me to find any relevant data quickly. Let's search Knight's console and see what she's up to. Security protocols breached. Bring up anything tagged Mercury. Files found. Mercury. A strike to prevent any future AI by destroying all quantum computers on the Nexus. Damn it. You could use those computers to create AI, but right now they run half the station. A lot of people could die. We need to stop Knight. Now. But quietly. Okay? To Ryder, from PB. Got a lead. Hey, I've discovered someone who can help us find Pac. He might need a little convincing. When we go to Kadera Port, meet me in the bar, please. Let's go get my bot back. PB. Ryder, this is Kandros. Sam warned us about Knight's attack. Unfortunately, one device triggered already. We lost a chunk of hydroponics. Sorry, Kandros. I had to... help someone out. Where's Knight? We're tracking her down, but those devices are still alive. I need you to take care of them, quietly. We can't afford panic. Son of a bitch, you played me. Knight? Yes, me. I let you near my son. You're not stopping this. Ryder, please. The Nexus doesn't need those computers. But we won't be safe from another Overlord until they're gone. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I sacrificed everything to stop it. 
This EMP device has been modded with Angaran components for greater destructive capability. Ryder, we cornered Knight, but she's carrying the last of those devices. I have a sniper ready, but she wants to speak to you. We could end this peacefully. Kandros reports the sniper is ready. Understood, Sam. Sam, such a human name. No one ever listens. Your father built his human AI implant. Overlord went on despite my... You're trying to bury something, and I think that's what this is really about. I thought Overlord might help my son. They made him a candidate for their butchery, so I sabotaged it. I faked rogue code and ripped him out. Alain was hurt terribly, but he was alive and himself, not a... First Overlord, then Sam. Horrors. Forced on children. It has to end, even if I must do the unforgivable. Dad created Sam to help my mother survive a terminal illness. Many terrible things come from good intentions. I should know. Sam and I helped Alain together. He's going to be all right. No, the... the, the, the code I made... no one could fix it. Sam did. Stand down and you can ask Alain yourself. Here. The last device. Thank you. No matter what sentence they give me, I hope Alan will forgive me someday. If Sam really is what you say, perhaps it can forgive me too. Please be mindful of guests visiting the Cultural Exchange Center. We ask that you extend your courtesy.